Welcome back everybody, Vomit Dog here, continuing our Alan Wake playthrough. Uh, we've got to go back through this mess and cut power to the transforming yard. You didn't let the door open. Shit. Bitch abandoned us. Anything back here? Hopefully a cash. And no. sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. I gotta be honest with you there, Alan. She doesn't seem very dependable. Never go out at night. Oh, safe haven. It's like, <laughs> how in the hell was there a cash there? Uh-oh. I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Is this it? Always remember a lantern. Okay, so if I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. All right, we need to go there. Then we go that way. Then I'm guessing then we go this way. Then I'm guessing we go that way. So I need all three of them. What's this one do? <laughs> Just keep hitting buttons. You might luck into it. I meant, uh, I knew what I was doing. That's just pure talent. Don't fall off air. Keep the lights on. It says let's get ready to shut them all off. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Only eight. Well, I guess eight's better than none. These things are everywhere. I wonder if that's some sort of achievement. Design these things. Come on, you bastards. I know you're around here somewhere. Oh! Woo! <laughs> Woo! I got stuck on that lip.
Weaver, you crazy witch sounding bitch. Oh. You guys better have that door open for me. Because I'm definitely coming in hot. Hurry up. I need to get some life up. And my flashlight. Let's switch to the flare gun. Flare chainsaw? Oh, no, 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 open up, open up, use. Safe haven. Let me in, crazy old lady. And then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterward, no Wait a minute. Is there any goodies in here? He left only one thing. That's bullshit. In case it happened again. And shorts. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I, I curse you, well Thomas Zane. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story we've never written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom, that's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know. Can I help you? I feel like I'd do it a little faster. <laughs> from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light. The darkness stays with him. You sustain. I'll have to go pick it up. Oh, oh. Directly to the well lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. She's not walking anywhere. <laughs> Just... Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Your best friend's a wanker, so you can do better. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. No, I'm more worried about us, you stupid ass. He's my best friend. What are we, 12 year old girls? Hmm. Is it a manuscript or is that a freaking bear trap? <laughs> I don't need batteries. Hmm. 
manuscript. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound, like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the room, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Barry Wheeler screams at everything. I hear you, you bastards. I guess I'm gonna have to outrun these bastards the whole way there. You sons of bitches. Go ahead and put some <laughs> batteries in this bitch. As far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Of course it was. We could have been in a nice safe tunnel, but no. The well-lit room. Big boy there. Is there anything down there at the in the building? Nothing, huh? Checkpoint right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's them. We're not dead. 
yet. Ooh. I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. Look the way up there. The ninja. Ow! Do something! He's too fast! I can't get a shot! There! No, there! Ow! They're all over the place! Well, then run! How many of them are there? Where'd that one go? Ah, oh, this can't be happening! Then run! Nah! Come on! Are we safe? He's that safe was... enough. Wow. I think we're okay. Hey, Al, I got a bad feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. You and me both, brother. Wait, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I hear something moving around. Flare gun. And everything else is worthless. Heads up! Here they come! Oh no! Oh no! They're coming! We have to hold them off! Slow motion, that bitch. It does appear to be taking its sweet time, doesn't it? Right here. Oh shit! Go and get this stuff while I'm here. Uh, move out of the way, bitch! Shit! That's where you want to stop. What are you playing Call of Duty? Is stop right in a doorway? There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wayne? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something to say. <laughs> That's my plan. Something to fix this. Gee, would you be a little more vague? Thomas you like that light? You like it when I put that in your face? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah you like it all over your face, don't you? Okay. Oh, jeez, I hate this. Okay, Wake. There's a button over there that opens the door. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Let's open it up. Reach the top of the dam. Wait, I'm going to read this. Notice, this facility has been decommissioned and is not staffed. Entry into the dam structure without authorization is a criminal offense and may be prosecuted under local and federal stat statutes. Alright, hey, we can't go in there. We're going to get in trouble. Guys? Hey, we can't go in there.
They're not listening to me. We're gonna get in trouble, and we're gonna go to jail. You, buddy. You gotta be kidding me. I hate when they throw freaking scenery at your ass. Hurry up and heal up. Behind behind this tree like a little bitch. Come on. Down boy. <laughs> Down boy. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in a shoebox would remain. And all that's supposed to be in the uh, well-lit room. Which is kind of a corny name, don't you think? Sounds like some name from Fallout. What have I got here? Okay, let's get the shotgun. I have no flares. I have no flashbacks. I have no flare gun. I need to heal up what I need to do. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Tired of your ass. Now 
let's come over here and get this crap. Number. The searchlight could even the odds. Worry about the cost here. Come on, dude, let go of it. Well, that room. Hook me up. Help me! Help! Help me! Was intense. You made it. Well done. Thanks. Had I drawn. It's a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. Why are you petting I your lantern? Many, many years ago. There was no shadow. Our is failsafe and both of the groups are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. You guys are welcome, by the way. There's an old army base of Rainbow. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Pretty sure she'd be burning a shed or so with hugging that lantern like she is. Some sort of crack fiend. Six and thirty-three and one eighteen need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. 
Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The Clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the Clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. <laughs> 